Ionizing radiation is the kind of radiation you have in a nuclear power plant, for example, or nuclear bomb. It's really dangerous because it can affect our cells, uh, and in particular, the DNA. We are always exposed to really low radiation levels. So the, the, the key here is when we have, say, an accident like in Chernobyl, and those levels are much higher. Of course, the potential to cause harm in, in our bodies and our cells, to cause the death of some individuals, is really high. And that's the, that's the entire interest of our research. What are the levels that are really harmful? What happens in the short term, but especially in the mid and long term after an accident? Because we have this idea of nuclear accidents to generate areas that will be with no life for thousands of years. No? It's a classic headline that you will uh, find in the you Google this. Chernobyl will be with no life for 20,000 years. It's definitely not a wasteland. We entered into the exclusion zone, into the area, and we were there for two weeks, walking there, sleeping there, eating there. So we accumulate as much radiation as you accumulate in two flights from US to Europe, back and forth. And regarding nature, right now is the area with the highest density of wolves in the continent, brown bears that were extinct in the area because they were hunting to the extinction. They are back in the area. You have uh, beavers, you have elk and deers and lynxes and whatever the species is almost protected and endangered in the Eastern Europe, you have it there and you have it in really big numbers. 